Hi, everybody. Priest Davis with you, bringing you the EA Sports NCAA Football 14 pregame show presented by Nissan. Innovation that excites. Rice has been on a roll lately, but a winning streak is only important if it continues to be a winning streak. By extending it, we'll see if they can get it done in this one. Thanks for checking out the pregame show. NCAA College Football Action coming up next with Brad and Kirk on the call. David and I will see you at halftime. We'll see how this game plays out as they get ready for the opening kickoff. He kicks it off, and he got all of that one. This one's going to be down in the end zone for a touchback. The quarterback brings his troops out onto the field for the first drive of the game. Great execution. Quarterback made a nice throw, and the receiver was able to go up and make the play. First and ten. Ball on the 41 yard line. Gets it out to his receiver in a hurry. And they push him out the 44-yard line. That was a really nice play on the ball by the receiver for a substantial gain and a first down. We've got a first and 10. Ball on the 44-yard line. Chunks like that, you've got the defense right where you want it. From the 33 yard line, first down, five wide. Gets out to about the 31. Receiver. Hampton plays the intended receiver on the play. Third down, and they need to get it to the 23. Hey, watch the slant. Watch the slant. Keep the seven for four. Strike to his receiver. No good. Well, that was clearly a poor read on somebody's part. And the bad news is there was no defender around. If the pass was anywhere near him, it could have gone for a big play. Grigsby awaiting the return. This punt goes over the goal line, and this will be a touchback. Well, here comes the guy that we've all been waiting for, our player to watch this game. 
Joseph's vision, his patience, Kirk behind center, really makes him a complete player. And Brad, both of those attributes are especially important anytime you're out on the road and you're playing in a hostile environment. This kid is really cool under pressure, and no matter how loud this crowd's going to get today, I don't think he's going to have much of a problem of blocking them out and playing his game. That'll make it second and four. Swings it out there incomplete. He's unable to hit his receiver. He overthrew it. Yeah, and that's a throw he should make every single time. They're about four yards away here on third down. Throws incomplete intended for his wideouts. The Owls always have guys that are near the top statistically, and that's no exception today. We're really looking forward to watching this kid play. This is a great punt-blocking team, and it looks like they're going to try to get to this one. He's taken down at the 47-yard line. They've got to play with some focus and smarts here. They don't want to make a mistake and suddenly find themselves trailing. Just throws this one away. From their own 47-yard line, second down. Just a simple draw play there, but they picked up some big yards. He's tackled at the 37. Gaining three yards. That makes it second and eight. From the 37 yard line, it's second down. Pulls down the catch and he's got room here. He's knocked out of bounds. The 26 yard line. And that was such a good job of reading the coverage and knowing where his receivers were. Any coach in the country would be thrilled to see that kind of composure, especially on third down. Throws it to the halfback on the screen. And he shoved out of bounds at about the nine-yard line. First down, and they'll be looking for six points here. Roger, Roger. In the shotgun and five wideouts. Puts it right in his hands. Touchdown. catch by the receiver for the touchdown. Anytime you're near the red zone, you got to keep an eye for this guy. They love going to him down here. He makes the PAT. So that's a seven-play, 52-yard drive. And the result, seven points. So the score now, 7-0. Looks like they're ready for the kick. He's out to the 30. And he's tackled at the 35. You never like to have to play from behind, but a deficit this manageable shouldn't be in the front of their minds. They just need to go out there and play.
about the 35. Jones will run it again. He gets out to about the 38-yard line. The back gets three on the carry. That was a great hit by the defender. He just drove the ball carrier right to the ground. Quickly to the tight end, incomplete. That brings us fourth and seven. Parker is back to receive. He drops it. Tackle at the 31. He just couldn't pull that one in clean. And Brad, that's what happens when you take your eyes off the ball. This was an error that should have been avoided. The main thing is they got the ball back, and now they can go to work on offense. These guys came up with a touchdown on their last drive, and they'll be hoping for another six on the board here. This quarterback right now is in a rhythm, and a lot of that has to do with his preparation. You can see right now with the reads that he's being able to make, getting the football out of his hands, that he's feeling very, very confident in his ability to throw the football against this season. That'll bring up second and three. They need about three yards to get the first here on second down. They come out on an empty backfield. Fires to the wide out, first down. The 50. Brigham Young is up seven. And he's tackled after positive yardage. It's second down, six yards to go. Ball on the 46-yard line. Credit those two defenses in that first quarter or blame the offenses for a lack of production. The Cougars with a touchdown lead. And we're back for more action here in quarter number two. Make the stop around the 45-yard line. So it's third down now, and they're going to need about four. Swings it out left to the halfback, and he's tackled at the 44. They couldn't get the first down. Well, here they were hoping to get a few extra yards after the catch. Give the defense credit. They held him short. Gray is waiting for the snap. This punt bounces into the end zone, and this will be a touchback. With one quarter down, I really haven't seen too much separation between these two squads. Might be neck and neck the whole way. Fires right side. Got his tailback. He's taken down right around the 22-yard line. And he didn't have much of a chance on that point. Boy, this defense has a lot of speed. They're all over him by the time he caught the ball. Rice has got a guy behind center that can really do it all, Herbie. I mean, he's a dual threat. He can hurt you with his feet and his arm. With this guy, it's PYV, Victor Poison. He's going to try and scramble. Tackle made around the 31-yard line. First down. Knocked out of bounds at the 36. That's good for a gain of five yards. That brings him six and five.
second down at about the 37 yard line. He's pushed out of bounds right around the 42 yard line. First down. First down, 10 to go. Ball on the 42 yard line. They bring him down in the backfield. You know, a lot of times coaches look to linebackers for leadership on defense. And on that tackle, he showed you why that's the case. Here's the eighth play of the series. And they get him in the backfield for a loss. This defensive end just showed us why he's much more than just a pass rusher. They've been two for two on third downs in this drive, and they'll try to convert again here. it all going long and he hits him hard at the 21 yard line he's on the run the owls will use their first time out of the half Joseph gets six yards after taking it himself. This is the 11th play of this drive. Pitches it. He's got the corner. He gets hit out of bounds at the five. The reason why it's so crucial to be able to run effectively like this is it keeps the defense guessing. They have no idea whether you're passing or running, even if you need medium to long range yards. Complete touchdown. A nice play as the offense gets it through the air. Yeah, they've had some success in their short passing game, so they felt confident they could make that play work down inside the 10. Here comes the kicker to try to tie this game up. And he adds the extra point. A 12-play, 79-yard drive, and they put up seven points. Brad, I thought the offense did a really nice job of mixing up the play calling on that drive. I thought the defense was on its heels most of the drive because of the versatility of the offense. We get a tie game at 7-7. Gathered in at the six. He makes it out to maybe the 29-yard line. This is the point in the game where you don't want to make any mistakes that give the other guys a reason to feel more confident going into halftime. He scrambled. And he can't get away from the pressure. He has one job on passing situations. Get to the quarterback. And he did that job very, very well on that play. Second down, 15 to go. Ball on the 24. Quick throw, incomplete, one of his receiver. Can't put the intended receiver on the play. That makes it third and 15. Watch one, watch one. I can't believe they let you play. I can't believe they even let you play. Bring down. Alert, alert, alert. Cat, cat. Under pressure. He airs it out. Doesn't get there. They got lucky on that play. That receiver was wide open, but the quarterback just missed it. Brings up fourth and 15. Grigsby is back deep to return the punt. And he muffed it. Heading for the corner. Tackle made at the 49. So that's exactly what happens when you take your eyes off the ball. Concentration for return man is of the utmost importance. That return man is lucky that his team got the ball back or he would have heard an earful from the coach. Actually, he probably will anyway. 
They got into the end zone last time. Let's see if they can match that on this possession. You can bet this defense made some adjustments on the sideline, though. I don't know if they can stop the passing attack, but they need to at least be able to slow it down. Looking to dig themselves out of a little hole here after the sack. It's second and 14. Makes the grab, and he's got the first. That's a team 14 yards on the play. First down. Hey, we got to get the stop here, D. He's scrambling, and they get the sack. Sometimes it's just a relentless pass rush that results in a sack. That's what happened there. It's second down and 11 to go. Ball on the 42. He's scrambling. He's at the 30. And down he goes at the 23. I'm telling you, quarterbacks who can run the ball are so hard to stop. You have to scheme around them, which takes the best coverages out of your defensive playbook. That makes it second and ten. Second and ten. Ball on the 23. Complete. There's one the quarterback would like to rewind because he has a wide open receiver and he just misfires. Trying to set up a little screen, gets it to his tailback. Tackle around the 16 yard line. Call on the field goal unit here. Rice could take the lead with this field goal. Kicks away, and the field goal is good. Low scoring first half of play, but a close game. The Owls lead 10-7. Hi, everybody. Glad to have you with us on the EA Sports NCAA Football 14 Halftime Show presented by Nissan. Innovation that excites. This is Davis, David Pollock here in the studio as always to lend a little perspective to what just went down in the first 30 minutes. Defense has been dominant in this game. Yards very hard to come by. But David, as we get deeper and deeper into this game, the natural assumption is that the pressure goes to the offense to do something. Yeah. How much pressure is on the defense not to make that catastrophic mistake? Well, that, that's, the, that's the conundrum you get in. I mean, it makes it exceptionally tough because you want to play perfect and you want to get them to punt every single time, but it's not the way it works. And it's those big plays that you usually see that kill the defenses and break their backs. And you can hold them great, Reese, on first down, second down, it's third and long. You're in a perfect situation. You give up that one play for 80, and it changes the whole complexion of the game. So I think you got to have a little bit of both. It can't just be great defense the whole time. Usually the teams that play great defense can keep you in it, but only for so long. At some point, that offense has to get something going. David and I will be keeping an eye on your game and everything else going on in the country here in our palatial and comfortable surroundings in the studio. The best seat in the house belongs to Brad Nessler and Kirk Herbstreit. Great first half. Hopefully the second half is good. Williams fields it at the 13. He's taken down at the 34-yard line. Both squads are digging in now. Let's see what happens on this next drive. Rice 
is up a field goal. He's tackled around the 30-yard line. That's not what you hope for from your running game. You're looking for some solid north and south progress. You never want to give the defense a play like that to build their confidence. From their own 30-yard line, second down. Now he tries to buy some time. He's to the 40. They'll bring him down around the 46-yard line. That makes it first and 10. He's at the 40. He gets to about the 34-yard line. three-yard line. Second down. He gets out to about the 22-yard line. Rice holds a field goal lead. And a quick throw. That's a great tackle at the 16. They'll line it up for the field goal. It's up, and they tack on three points. The kicker looks like he's ready to kick this one off. Excellent kick. And it goes into the end zone, down for a touchback. The Owls continue to get it done on the defensive side of the football, Kirk. Yeah, they've done a good job of building this lead and almost determined here to protect it. Let's see if they can hold on here for the rest of the way. This deficit can be easily overcome, sure. But they have to be thinking if they don't get something going on this series, the burden is going to be felt by their defense. Scrambling around. And they got him. You know what happened there? The offensive line was so focused on picking up the blitz, they forgot about blocking the defensive lineman. It's second down, 15 to go. Ball on their own 20. play action the ball pops free and the ball hawking safety scoops it out at the corner brought down around the 26 yard line a lot of guys in the defensive backfield are ball hawks and the safety showed it there by pouncing on the football They picked up three points on their last possession, and they've got great field position to work from here. Rice with a six-point lead. Tackle after a decent run up the gut. Positive yardage. That's good for a gain of seven yards. That makes it first and ten. Our time. Our time. Like 22, like 22. And he 
tackles him hard at the one yard line. That makes it first and goal. He's going to try and scramble. And he's going to run this one in. Touchdown. And he hits the PAT. A four-play, 25-yard drive. And it's good for seven points. So our score... 20 to 7. Everyone's all lined up and ready for the kickoff. He kicks it off, and he got all of that one. This one's going to be down in the end zone for a touchback. Let's see how the offense rebounds after fumbling on their last possession. Anytime you give the ball away, it's a disappointment. So these guys want to show that they can hang on to it. the throw incomplete pass well that was clearly a poor read on somebody's part and the bad news is there was no defender around if the pass was anywhere near him it could have gone for a big play from their own 25 yard line second down brown on the run he's taken down at about the 27 yard line is using the pass to get him involved. He's explosive, and you just want to get the ball in his hands. From their own 42-yard line, first down. Jones. Goes with the play fake. He's got the corner. Decides to slide. They'll get the first down. He made the correct decision to tuck it and go. Here's a screen pass. Gets it to the back. He's at the 30. Tackle made at the 13. The receiver found a hole in the zone and turned it into a first down. No matter what type of defensive coverage you have, there are always going to be holes. The best thing you can do is make those holes small so the quarterback can't get the ball in there. And the big pickup through the air has made it first and ten. They're crowding that line of scrimmage. And he's taken down at the three. And this is the eighth play of the drive. Finds a man. Touchdown. converts the extra point. Reese Davis joins us in the studio with this update. Reese. Georgia and Florida. They don't care for each other. And for Georgia, they're looking to win their third straight. Georgia's on top, 21-6. 20-14, to 14, our score here. They line up to kick this one away. He 
missed tackle at the 30. The Cougars have really surprised everybody in this football game. They have not been intimidated at all, which is great to see. The attitude and effort of this team has put them in a position where they got a shot to win this game here in the second half. And, folks, it's neck and neck as we head to the final quarter of play. Rice's lead is six. Welcome back to the action. Fourth quarter. This one will decide it. Tight ball game through three. Things aren't tied, but they might as well be. It's this drive that could really dictate the tone for the last quarter. And down he goes. It's around the 40-yard line. Call it a gain of 10 yards. That'll make it second and inches. Rice up six. Here comes the pressure. And now he's going to run. Tackle at the 43. That's good for a gain of 17 yards. First down. You better be afraid of me. Makes it out to about the 33. Gain of 10 yards. That'll make it second and inches. Those linebackers do a great job of stopping the run. But they need to be careful to play action pass. You can easily get fooled and give up some big yards through the air. They need about three yards to get the first down here on third down. He makes his way to about the 22. They shredded the defense with the option run there. That's a big game to keep this drive going. Inside the 10, and he's level at the 8. That makes it first and goal. He makes it to the 6-yard line. scrambling and he's going to be sacked and for Lewis he's now gotten to the quarterback twice you know for the rest of the game now he's going to be looking for this guy every time he drops back to pass let's see if that throws off his timing the ball's on the six yard line and we've got third and goal just under three to go in regulation. Done. Up the gut. He makes it out to maybe the seven yard line. is up and it is good Reese Davis is standing by with this update Reese we are locked in on what's going on in Norman back and forth they go to heavyweight slugging it out the mean green are on top three nothing in other games let's see what's happening in Ann Arbor old Sparty gets the victory 38-14 all right Reese back to our game and it looks like they're ready for the kickoff He's out to the 30. He wasn't breaking that tackle. What a hit. Last drive ended with as good a result as you can hope for, and I'm sure they'd like to replicate that here. They'll line up with five wide receivers. He's scrambling. He's tackled at the 48 yard line. Switch, switch, switch. 
They spread the field in the gun with five wide receivers. From the 48-yard line, it's second down. They come out on an empty backfield. Quick throw out to the receiver. They'll bring him down at the 42. Just under two minutes in the game. Gets it out to the wide out, and he's got the first. Knocked out of bounds around the 22-yard line. First and ten. Ball on the 22. Goes to his back, and it's in and out of his hands. Number 32 was the intended receiver on the play. That makes it second and ten. He launches one for the end zone. They'll line it up again on third down. it makes the catch and look out he steps out of bounds and now it's going to be first and goal we're at play number nine of this current drive He just blew past the blockers and dragged the quarterback down. Boy, excellent play by the defense here. A few extra seconds, and those receivers might have been open. We have less than a minute to go. Looking for his man, incomplete. Third and goal. Ball on the 12. some time. He goes out of bounds. Right around the six-yard line. So now both teams come trotting back out onto the field. He's out to the 30. And he's finally taken down at the 48-yard line. An amazing run. This kid was moving. Man, no kidding. This guy can fly. Looking to capitalize on the big run. Now it's first and ten. He makes it out to maybe the 49-yard line. Not much there for the tailback on the option. Brigham Young will take a timeout. That's their second of the half. Gets out to around the 38. Even if you're pulling for the other team, you've got to just admire this guy's speed. He is special. We should just see the quarterback take a knee right here, winding down the rest of this clock. Takes a knee.
This one's in the books, and our final score, 23-14, right. The Cougars, 14. That's going to do it for this presentation of NCAA Football 14. For Kirk Street, this is Brad Nessler saying goodbye.